Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create your pages and set up some of the different settings that you should have here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make sure you um, have this page on here. If you had a little pop-up here, there is probably a button that says next. You can go ahead and just click it until it goes away. Next thing we want to do is go to pages, so you'll just click here on pages. And it should take you to this page here. If you have this confirmation email um, thing here, all you need to do is just go to your um, email, click on this email that it gave you, and click on confirm now. So that's all you need to do, and then it will confirm um, your account for you, just like that. Alright, so now we're going to go back, and we're going to make sure that we fix um, our pages. So right now we have like two pages and then we have this blog post thing that we don't really need. Um, we can change our pages here so if we go click on about we can change the name so that it says welcome and then you'll just click on update and if you want to set a featured image you can do that here. Um, you just click on featured image and then set featured image and then choose your photo. This is one that they've given me already so I'm just going to use it but you can add a new one if you want to and it can be any photo that you have from your own computer or you can also download one. So that put the image here and now I just need to set this up later but I'm going to update from now. Okay and then we're going to go back and that should sit right there. We're going to click on contact now and on contact we're going to change so that it says resume and you can put the accent on there if you want and on here um, we can put an image as well if we want or we, we can do something different um, if you want you can just update this and we should be good so we'll go ahead and go back and should have two pages here so the next thing we want to do is go to menus and sometimes this gets buggy, so it may mess up sometimes, but um, you'll be fine if you just follow along. So you'll notice that we have a home, a welcome, and a resume. So we want to get rid of the home, so we click on this pencil, and we'll want to just trash it down here, and just confirm here. The next thing we want to do is we want to add a page underneath welcome, so we'll click on the plus symbol, and you have options to add item menus, um, menu items above, below, or um, add sub pages, which are the item to children. We're going to use the below because we don't want a sub page yet. Change the name so it says goals and outcomes. And then you just want to create a new page um, using this option here and add the item. So you should have a page underneath. Now we're going to do the same exact thing. And this time we're going to call it coursework. And of course, uh, create a new page and add item. So you should have about four pages now. And add another one, same process. This one will be called outside the classroom. And same option, and I add item. So now we have the five basic pages that we need. And we need to add a sub page under coursework. So um, any pages that you make after you make the five pages are pages, pages for your class. So you're going to um, use add menu item to children and this you will name after your class um, and you only want to make pages for the classes that are asking for an assignment on your ePortfolio so this I'll just name example 1010 and create a new page and then you're going to add the item and I'll add another one just so you can see again this time we won't do the children because it's already a sub page as you can see right here so I'm going to add it below and name this example 2010 and create a new item and then add item so you should have um, something that looks similar to this where you have your classes as sub pages of your coursework then go ahead and just save and this may take a couple minutes or it may be quicker just depends and make sure you add all the pages that you need to um, I'm only adding two for the tutorial but sometimes students need to add pages for all their classes because all their classes require um, an assignment on their ePortfolio.
All right, it looks like it's just about done. So now we're going to go around the side and we're going to click on themes. So if you click on themes, and if you still have this, just go back and resend the email just in case. It looks like it was verified like I thought, so we'll just ignore that. We're going to click on, oh sorry, we're going to click on customize actually. And this will take us to another page where we can change um, our settings. So we're going to go to where it says static front page and click there. And you want to change your front page display to a static page. And you want to select the front page so that it is the welcome page. Sometimes it takes you to a weird welcome um, blog page. And what you want to do is just change it so it goes straight to your welcome page. And then just save and publish. So you should have a menu over here that looks like this. And then if you click here, it should give you your pages down here. Alright, so this looks like it's supposed to be right, so we're pretty much done with this very first part, so I will um, show you how to fix your welcome page in the next step.